I'm Lauren Collins from Emory University, and I'm delighted to share this work on behalf of my co-authors. Women with HIV have high overall burden and early accrual of non-AIDS comorbidities. HIV infection may accelerate the development of aging-related non-AIDS comorbidities. However, the incidence of comorbidities is poorly characterized among women with HIV. Our objective was to evaluate the effects of HIV serostatus in age on incident comorbidity burden among women. We hypothesize that the burden of incident comorbidities is differentially affected by HIV serostatus and this effect is modified by age. To answer our study question, we leveraged the Women's Interagency HIV Study, or the WISE, the largest prospective observational US-based cohort of sociodemographically comparable HIV seropositive and seronegative women. We performed a longitudinal analysis of WISE participants and active follow-up on or after 2009, the calendar year in which the majority of women with HIV used antiretroviral therapy. Outcomes were measured through March 31st, 2018. The primary outcome was incident comorbidity burden defined as the total number of comorbidities accrued over study observation per participant out of a total of 10 assessed. We included 3,129 women resulting in nearly 37,000 women years of follow-up. At time of study enrollment for the overall cohort baseline at baseline, age, median age was 37 years, median observation was 14.3 years, 65% of women were black and 65% had ever smoked. Among women with HIV specifically, again at study enrollment, median CD4 count was 484, 45% had HIV viral suppression and 69% were prescribed antiretroviral therapy. Looking at the figure in the middle, is non-AIDS comorbidity disease status stratified by HIV. All 10 comorbidities assessed are listed along the Y axis and along the X is the percentage of women with each type of comorbidity designated as prevalent if the comorbidity was present at time of study enrollment as depicted in blue or incident if the comorbidity accrued over study observation, which is depicted in red. Main findings of the analysis included that women with HIV had a significantly higher incident comorbidity rate compared with women without HIV, and that incident comorbidity burden was significantly higher among women with HIV compared with women without HIV in most age strata, and the HIV age interaction term was statistically significant. Incident comorbidity burden was associated with traditional comorbidity risk factors such as race and body mass index, but not HIV specific indices such as CD4 count and HIV viral load. In the figure to the right are our results from the fully adjusted model, including covariates as listed at the bottom and stratified by HIV serostatus with positive women, in red and HIV seronegative women in blue and age across the x-axis. Strikingly, women aged fewer than 25 years had the greatest difference in incident comorbidity rate by HIV serostatus. In conclusion, incident comorbidity burden was higher among women with HIV than women without HIV. The difference was most dramatic among women aged fewer than 25 years, a group for whom routine comorbidity screening is not prioritized, and established non-HIV comorbidity risk factors were significantly associated with incident comorbidity burden. Finally, more data are needed to inform best practices for comorbidity screening, prevention, and management among women with HIV and particularly young women. With that, I would like to sincerely thank all of the MaxWISE combined cohort study participants, as well as my co-authors and collaborators from the MaxWISE CCS as listed here and our funding sources. And thank you for your attention.